today's video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to make the best turkey you've ever had in your life. First, you need to get said brine, Cosmos Turkey Brine. This is the only instant brine on the market that actually blends up when you mix it with cold water. And if you need help, the directions are on the back of the bag. Super simple, let's rock and roll. Gotta get our turkey opened up. Gotta get out the goods. <laughs> I just got the neck. <laughs> wow, wow. Is that what that is? Yeah, it's a turkey neck. I always thought it was good. No. So here's the deal. These are our turkey brine bags. I'm doing this outside, because I've had accidents inside, and you don't want that. I am using half a bag. You don't have to. Half a bag is roughly two cups. The instructions call for one cup. I'm going for a 24 hour brine and I ain't joking around. I want some moist turkey. So just dump the half of the bag in there. I have one gallon of water. I'm not gonna put it all in yet. Just a little bit. Seal it up. Mix it up. Now, let's go put it in the cooler. Place your turkey in the bag. Get off of there. Tuck her down in there nice and neat. Now, let's head to the ice chest. Now this is just my little igloo ice chest. I use this to fish, run the river, and beer drink with Wes in his backyard. Now I have a little ice in the bottom already. I'm just gonna set this in here. Dump the remainder of the liquid or until it covers the turkey, like so. Seal it. Make sure it's sealed too. Get all the air out or as much as you can. Now, this is when I give it one more little shake. Set my little turkey dude down in there. Now I like mixing it inside of this container and setting it down in here. It keeps the liquid all the way around it and you don't, don't gotta use that much. This is a large bag. God knows how big your turkey is. I don't know, this is about 12 pounds. So now, all we do is fill it with ice. All right, so we're gonna leave this in the cooler for 24 hours. At the end of 24 hours, we're gonna pull it out and burn this sucker on the rotisserie. All right, so it's been 24 hours. Time to pull it out. Now we're gonna do something a little bit different to this bird. And this is one you probably haven't seen anywhere. This is an old competition trick that we used to do back in the day. We're gonna pull some of the brine out. And we're gonna inject it. Ugh. It's got a ton of brine still in it. <laughs> I'm just gonna reach in there. Don't reach to the bottom. You don't wanna get the granules. You just want the liquid. Now with this, you can do whatever you want, but I'm just gonna blow up that breast. Should we hit the legs? Yeah, might as well. I'm gonna try to pour some of this liquid out. Without dumping it. Nailed it. There was a t there's a ton of liquid still inside. So we're gonna tie it. Now this is the one time a year that I tie these dang things. You're gonna need about four or five feet. And let's just move in for the tie. I'll turn it your way. On this end right here. Oh, there's that bag right there. I knew it was in there somewhere. Put that right there. So for this part, you're gonna to wanna to loop this in right here on this neck. Just loop it right over there and then pull your string around the sides. Just like so. This is what's gonna hold that whole thing. Now, to make this knot, this is what you call a surgeon's knot. It's just like a half hitch, except you loop it one extra time, and you grab that sucker, and you pull tight, and it's locked. Then we'll put one ever extra half hitch, 
just like your shoelaces, loop, swoop, and pull. You want to come back around the breast, over the wings, and repeat that surgeon's knot. That's what it's going to look like on the bottom side, just a nice little crisscross. And then flip it back over. Now this has the skin with the legs tucked in there. You can untuck it if you want. A lot of people cut that off. But you're going to want to just take them legs, crisscross them just like that. Then another surgeon's knot. Loop it. Loop it again and pull tight and it's stuck. Now I'm going to go ahead and put one more half inch in it and boom. That's how you tie them. And then discard the extra. Now rubbing a bird is kind of kind of hard because you're flipping it over. It's getting in the, the liquid and all that. So don't worry about if you don't miss or miss some spots or whatever. On the rotisserie, we'll clean it up. Flip it over, grab the bottom. Like I said, don't worry about it if you miss a spot. We'll clean it up inside the, inside the smoker. All right, so now we're gonna get it on the spit or the rotisserie, whatever you call it. And I'm just going through one side, get in there. Coming out the other, shove that sucker in. Now we'll get the other side on. Yeah. Going all Game of Thrones on this thing. And there you go. Now let's put her on there and touch all this rub up. All right, so we're cooking this on the Twin Eagle today. They got a little dude in there. Hit the rotisserie button, clean up that rub. So we're setting this at 275. Because what I'm wanting to do is get real nice color on here, and then I'll crank it up a little bit, try to crisp up that skin a little bit. All right, so she's been on right at about two hours and 30 minutes. We're just gonna check it right here. I'm going right in the thigh, and I'm always careful where I poke holes in, just because I don't want them to leak out. We're 143 right there. Let's go in the bottom side of the breast. 144, that's what you want. And when you do rotisserie, you get this even cook from top to bottom. That's what I love about this. It's almost ready. Had to bump up the temperature. 275, we're gonna be here a month of Sundays, so. I jumped it to 300, fixing a roaster at 325, put a nice little crisp on that skin. That's my hope. She's been running now for, let me do math in my head, right at about three hours. And I'm gonna hit it right below the breast there, 164. I'm taking it. Thigh. 176. All right, so we pulled it off. The breast is at 164. We're going to go ahead and loosen these things up, get them set in the pan. Then we are going to glaze this with our apple habanero barbecue glaze. Killer. Killer on turkey. And then we're going to let it rest and slice into it. All right, so she's been rested. Now all we gotta do is cut into her and taste her. This is the most juiciest bird I have ever made in my life. Really injecting this with that uh, turkey brine, next level stuff right here. 
So hey, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you want this recipe, it's going to be down in the description. Go down there, print it out, take it and make it for your family, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Dude, this is stupid good. Stupid good. <laughs> <laughs>